Hey everyone, it's Greg again, and today we're going to talk about how to prevent hacks on your WordPress website or blog with some WordPress security. Maybe you thought that because you installed WordPress and pay for a host and update your site regularly that your content is safe. Well, unfortunately it's not, as I learned when I was hacked. But fortunately for us all and the millions of WordPress users, it's not that hard to take a few steps, which we'll look at here, to protect your website. We'll learn how to prevent brute force attacks, which we'll talk about more at the end. We're going to learn about some nice plugins like Login Lockdown and Advanced Automatic Updates. And I hope you take this advice uh, to heart because like I said, I was hacked and my site basically had to come down so it could be scrubbed clean and there was links to different pharmaceutical sites on there that I had to hunt down manually and with the help of HostGator. So you don't want that to happen and I'll show you how to prevent it. Let's jump over to my blog, Dear Blogger, where we're already logged in. And the way I could have prevented my hack on this site, or the hack that happened rather, because I didn't hack it, is just by updating plugins. If you ever see a number right here, that green number, you should click plugins. And then you can update manually by clicking update now. I have a lot of plugins here. Generally, I don't recommend too many plugins because they can conflict with each other and you just forget to update them. But I need all of these and what I really want is to have uh, this blue line extend from the top to the bottom. All right? If you're not using a plugin, of course, you can delete it. If you're like me and you forget to update things like plugins, then I found a plugin which will update your plugins for you. Pretty meta. Just click add new and look for advanced automatic updates. It's this plugin right here by Pento. If you install that, then click activate. Now we're in better shape because uh, this plugin has a settings tab which will update the WordPress core, by the way, the WordPress software, which is also a security precaution you have to take. And it will update plugins automatically and themes automatically if we want, and I, I do want that. This portion just says that we'll get an email notification um, when the update is performed. And this just says that we could also receive debugging information, which will help you learn more if you want. And then save changes. The reason updating plugins is so crucial and updating your WordPress core is so crucial is because WordPress is always changing. And as much as we like that it changes and gets better, Hackers like that it changes because they can find what are called vulnerabilities in older versions of the plugins or the WordPress software. Basically holes in the software where they can get in and if you have a faulty plugin or theme or version of the software on your site, they can get into your front end and start creating uh, fake pages with backlinks on them that will look terrible and confuse your readers or they can even get into your cPanel where you might have installed WordPress uh, from the get-go. If hackers enter your cPanel, the issue becomes much more serious because then your host has to take action if you're on a shared server. If you're sharing your server space with other blogs and websites like I did for many, many years and like I recommend doing if you're starting because it's so cheap and easy and smooth process, if you're doing that then the host might have to take your site down in order to clean it and make sure that your site won't affect other sites. Um, and I learned this all from real hand experience and you just, you don't want to have to be that, that guy that gets the server uh, dirty. So updating plugins and your theme and your WordPress software, number one, biggest way to prevent hacks and first step you should take to feel safe um, with your website and to be able to sleep easy. The next thing that can happen is a brute force attack, which is basically a software, oftentimes as weird as it sounds, from Russia or Ukraine or that part of the world. And the software tries to log into your site so quickly and repeatedly and incorrectly using incorrect password attempts and login attempts uh, that your site basically runs out of memory because it's getting so many requests from another site. Um, 
it's sort of like if you were trying to get a taxi in the rain and you saw a taxi that was open and you were going to go and get in it and then all of a sudden at that exact same time 10,000 other people appeared out of nowhere and tried to get in the taxi at the same time there would be a very little chance of you getting in or generally of the world working the way it wanted to because there is so many requests at the moment that's a brute force attack. Um, it's done either to shut down a site, and uh, it also can be done to hack a site because someone wants to try usernames and passwords as quick as possible to get the right one. As the WordPress codex tells us here, a good way to prevent that is not using admin as your username. And if WordPress automatically gave you that username as admin, then you should delete it or try to change it at all costs because those sites are filtered by people who want to attack your site. Additionally, don't use passwords like 123456 or password or any very generic words. That's a no-brainer. To prevent these brute force attacks, you could install Login Lockdown plugin, which limits the number of login attempts within a given IP range. Um, that means that your WordPress will basically shut off and not allow more logins if someone performs this kind of attack and um, you know, fails after three failed logins or within some time frame that you could set. Over 200,000 installs, this is a good plugin and you can install it right away for free and then be comfortable that you're not going to get a brute force attack or have brute force password discovery as it says uh, right here where someone actually gets into your site. However, what I want to show you right now is how to block your site uh, one step further. Alright, so now I'm actually going to show you how to prevent anyone from getting to your login screen, from getting to that nice page where you put in your username and password, because then you can make sure you don't get a brute force attack and you don't get a smaller attack where someone just tries to guess their way in. Um, we are going to password protect the password page. To show you what I mean, if you're on a site like Time that uses WordPress, you can just type forward slash WP admin and get to their login screen and it always amazed me that they didn't block this page because if someone were by chance smart enough then they could just hack into time and uh, I wouldn't want to even take that very small chance if I were them. So we're going to learn how to pass or protect this screen on your site. Let me show you what I mean by going into incognito mode where the passwords and cookies and things aren't stored and just I'm going to try to log into Dear Blogger because this is where I've set up that additional uh, security page. So if I go to the login, what's going to happen is you get this from the server saying you need a password just to get into the uh, login area. I set that up today so that's not hard to get through. But that gets me here, alright? So without that, I can't get to this page and without that additional password, and username, no one's going to get to your WordPress login screen, which I think makes sense as a serious uh, website owner. Let's try that again, and let's go just to the um, wp-login.php page, which is another way people can get in, um, similar to the admin page. They sort of redirect to each other, and we'll get the same uh, barrier, which is really nice. So how do we set up that on your server? How do we create that feature? In order to do that, we need to do a little work on your server. All right, so head over to cPanel, and if you don't have cPanel, if you installed your site using Optimized WordPress, just pull up HostGator support chat and ask them uh, to send you a link to your cPanel or to give you access, um, because even if you're using um, Optimized WordPress, there is still the option to log in through the forward slash WP admin page, and we're going to prevent that right now. first step is to log into our cPanel and once we do that we're going to come down and we're going to click on file manager and then we're just going to click go but before we click go check show hidden files and then click go and don't worry what site you chose right here alright so we want to be in the home file up here we want to be where it says home uh, slash user, whatever your username is. 
Once you're here, look for a folder called .htpasswds for passwords and open that up. And then open up public HTML. Then open up wp-admin and you'll find the password file, which if you view it, should be blank. I've already edited mine, but yours should be blank. And if you don't have this in the first place, then shoot me a comment and I'll show you how to set it up. Um, you can just create the files and folders up here. So in this file, we wanna click edit. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to put in one line of code right here. You put in one line of code and to get that line of code, you're going to go to this site at HT Access Tools, which I'll link to you in the notes below. All right, so look in, look in the notes below. And then you're just going to enter your username of choice, and you're going to enter a password. You're just going to enter a password, um, something that you can remember, just plain English. And then press create.ht password file. And what's going to happen is this site, which is recommended by WordPress also, um, on this page uh, right here somewhere, right here. It's a WordPress tool. This is going to uh, encrypt the English you put in right here. So I just wrote in the word uh, ballroom and it's going to encrypt that when we create. Alright, so what gives us our username and this long password and you just have to copy the whole thing. Just copy this whole line. and then come to your cPanel and put that in this file called passwd. Just paste that right here, uh, like that. All right, so I already did that. We only want it in there once. And then just click save, close this file. And now we're gonna go uh, back to our file manager and go back to the home, home forward slash user. Now we're going to click on public HTML down here. And I have a lot of sites to manage, but we're going to do this to Dear Blogger. All right. So click on the site where you want to set up that um, extra layer of security that password protects the password page. Double click it. And then just find this area for WP admin. Double click that. And now in this folder, we're going to create a file called, called .htaccess. .htaccess. To do that, you can just click New File, and then write in period .htaccess, and then create new file. Or you might already have one. All right? And if you do have one, then you can click Edit. Otherwise, just create a new file. Open it up. And then in this folder, we're going to paste in uh, this nice code from WP Beginner a really special site for WordPress tips for beginners. Um, credit them for providing me this information and I uh, really appreciate it. They are awesome. Definitely check them out. But the code we want is right here starting with auth name, ending with put your username here and uh, we're just doing uh, more or less exactly what they tell us um, if you want to read this article. Let's open up that code and grab the plain text and copy five lines and then come in here and paste it in. You can see I've already pasted it in, so I'm going to delete one of these. Uh, once you do that, you want to change, put your username here to your actual username you created on uh, this site. So it's this wordage right here. And then what we're going to do is not, we're not going to insert this password. What we're going to do actually is just make your directory say your username too. So put your username in twice and then you're almost set. The last step for me is just to put a four in right there because uh, my cPanel home is home four for some reason. So you want it to look exactly like your uh, file manager directory right at the top. Maybe it's three or nine or whatever. Once you do that, just leave the rest the same. So these are now exactly the same. And I can delete the one from above, just like that. And then before you're done, I want you to write in this uh, wordage right here, which is just error document 
401 default with capital E and D and the rest lowercase. Just do that. Um, that part's kind of complicated, um, but let me know in the comments if you want me to explain that, but you do need that. Then just click save. And it says we made no changes, so that's good. It will say congrats on your changes in a green little button. Then we can just close our file manager because we added the two files that we needed. All right. So in the home area, it was that password in here that we edited and put in with our encrypted password. And then in the uh, WordPress folder for our blog in WP Admin, it was uh, editing the HT access file like this. All right, and once you do that, it's gonna tell your site that the login screen needs a little bit more password to, to get in. It needs one more layer of security. What we've done is told the HT access file to restrict access to users on our WordPress site um, unless the person is an admin and has this amazing uh, password that they can use. And uh, you're going to want to enter in the English password and not the encrypted password right here. I don't know why someone couldn't have told me that on the WordPress codex, it would have saved me about an hour. But you write in the English that you encrypted on this site. So you write in whatever you put in in this line and not the long crazy password like this. All right, so that step is writing in an English word or whatever your language is and encrypting that wordage. And then you write in the original words. Where are we? Right on our login screen. Click login and you'll get your login page as usual. And the website remembers us, so we can log in quickly. Um, and now we know that it's only us logging in because there's no way that someone could have both those passwords. Your HD access files are used to also change which IP addresses can access your site. If maybe you only want people in a certain part of the world coming through, um, I'm not sure my, why you might want that, but the uh, HD access file is powerful and not to be tampered with. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but there's also more reading you can do on HT access on the WordPress site and around the web, which will make you uh, even more powerful with your website. That is a lengthy version of how I protect my WordPress sites against hacks and for increased security. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, that's really the most stuff I can think of aside from destroying my computer every time I write a blog post or hiring a bodyguard to stand by my computer 24 seven, um, which, you know, are two things I don't want to do um, for my own reasons. Anyways, enjoy. Uh, let me know any questions in the comments. Please make sure to subscribe for more videos and rate this video. And I'll see you next time.